Well, if you weren't already scared of what AI technology is going to be in the future, here's something new that'll really make you worried. It's called voice cloning. Basically how it works is you can take audio files of anyone speaking, input it into a free website like this, and get them to say anything you want simply by typing in text. So we talked about ChatGPT, how you can input text, request it to type out a letter, an email, and the style of a different person. Now with Eleven Labs, you can clone somebody's voice. So let me show you how to use it. So after you sign up, you'll come to this Voice Lab, and you can go to Voice Cloning, and it'll bring you to a page like this. And what you want to do is add instant voice. And basically, you're going to upload an audio file of anyone talking. Now what I did is I used um, my own voice. Some of my videos of fixing a refrigerator and fixing a Bluetooth video, something I recorded five years ago. You can copy the URL, paste it into a site like this that converts YouTube to MP3, and you can get the audio file. You take that audio file, upload it here, give it a name, hit confirm. And that's what I've done with these three voices down here. Now again, these are all my voice, but you can basically add anyone's voice on here. Once you have it uploaded, you can hit use and test it out. This is the audio from the refrigerator video. So this is the audio from this video right here. So to test it out, you click on use and it brings you to this page, the speech synthesis. Now this is the refrigerator test that I uploaded. This is the audio file and there's different settings. You can do stability, clarity, you can adjust these with the slider. And then this is where you type in the text you want it to say. So this is now this is me reading it into the microphone. This is a test. This is a test of the new AI software that clones a person's voice. Now I hit generate and you will hear the computer reading the text using audio from a different video. So let's click generate and hear what the computer says. This is a test. This is a test of the new AI software that clones a person's voice. So that one wasn't perfect, but let's try a different one and try this one. This is the Bluetooth video again. This was from a video I did five years ago. So let's try using that voice. Same text there. Let's hit generate on that one. This is a test. This is a test of the new AI software that clones a person's voice. Now that one was really accurate. That sounded exactly the way I hear my voice. Um, in, in videos like this. So if I play this video, it pops up and then you can connect to it. So let me show you how we did it. So that is my voice recorded in video. And now this is the AI software that cloned that voice. This is a test. This is a test of the new AI software that clones a person's voice. That sounds almost exact to me. Now here's the scary thing. You can type in anything here. So let's look up, you know, famous presidential speeches. And we can go to somebody like Ronald Reagan's farewell address, and I can copy that text, put it in here, and suddenly I can have myself say this without ever speaking. So now this is me speaking into the microphone. My fellow Americans, this is the 34th time I'll speak to you. Now let's hear what the AI software generated. My fellow Americans. This is the 34th time I'll speak to you from the Oval Office and the last. We've been together eight years now, and soon it'll be time for me to go. Now that's pretty scary that that is that accurate. Again, the first one I tried from a different video wasn't that perfect, but this one really was. And some of the uses I could see this software being used for, number one, you can automate things. Suddenly we can use ChatGPT to automate text. Now we can use this to automate a person's voice. A scary use for this is, you know, those examples when someone calls up an old lady and says, hey, this is your grandson. Can you send me a hundred dollars? And they convince an old lady uh, to send someone money. Well, now it's going to really be their, her grandson's voice. They can steal a person's voice and convince someone over the phone that they're talking to someone else. It kind of reminds me of those movies like Taken where someone's uh, held hostage and the, the parent says, hold the phone up to my child's voice so I can hear them talk. In the future, we're going to have to learn to live with this and realize that maybe the audio and the voice we're hearing is not really the person talking, especially when there's something like this that can be done by anyone. So I hope this helps. Thanks.